everybody, my name is Vince Sandy, and today we are doing February's boxing of the BAM box. And I am super excited about this box just because the theme was the 90s. Now most of my childhood was from the 90s, so I'm expecting great things from this box. And I mean great things from this box. Oh, I am anxious to, to get into it, so let's use my... BAM box letter openers to go ahead and get rid of the, I don't know why I'm putting that out of there, uh, get rid of the tape and go ahead and open it. Alright, it's nice and open, remove the tissue, paper, and see what we got. Uh, let's go with this big item first and it looks like one of the worst things from the 90s in my opinion. Um, I'm not sure on I guess the quality of it, but it is a Beanie Baby. Um, it is a chick inside of a broken egg. Um, now most of these aren't really worth much anymore. Um, I know some of them did get really expensive. Uh, most of the errors come from um, errors in the tag. Um, I doubt we are lucky enough to get one of those because those turn out to be really, really freaking expensive. Um, but I don't know. I'll see what ones we could have gotten in here and uh, maybe we got a good one. Who knows? I was never a fan of those though. I never got into that. So. So far, that's one miss on the 90s box, which I'm sad to say. I was hoping there'd be no misses on the 90, 90s box. Um, let's go ahead and open this poster. Just one poster. And I can kind of see it through the light, but it looks like a boxing poster? Now, I know boxing was really popular in the 90s, and it's still, I guess it's not really popular now, is it? It's UFC that's popular, which I'm not really into either, but I do see what they did here. They went ahead and uh, they put um, popular themes as boxing. So here you have Dr. Evil and Austin Powers in a boxing match on the moon base melee. So they kind of did put a, a cool twist on it. Um, I still don't know if it, it's entirely me, but I, I definitely appreciate this one. This one's kind of cool. It's a it's a neat little poster. Uh, just to kind of throw in the box. Um, I definitely I watched the Austin Powers movies and I didn't appreciate them until I was a little bit older. Um, so there is that. Let's go ahead and do this little box thing, and it says Boston Creative Company. So it could be anything that's in here. Go ahead and pull it out. Looks like a spoon? No soup for you. <laughs> okay, I like this. I really like this. This is, um, if you're not familiar with it, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, especially with that on there. You might not be able to see it at all. Um, who knows, I'll put a picture in if you, if you can't see it. Uh, but it says, no soup for you on the actual spoon head. And it's heavy. Like, heavy spoon. Um... It says no soup for you on it. If you don't know what that is referenced to, it is referenced to uh, the TV show Seinfeld. Um, now, I never fully got into Seinfeld. I do find it a funny show. I do still occasionally watch it when it's just on TV and I need something to watch. Um, Kramer is my favorite character in the show. Um, but yeah. I I like that show. I like that item. Um, they threw a certificate of authenticity on the bottom of the box. 
but I have no idea what item it goes to. Does it go to the Beanie Baby? Does it go to the poster? Because the, there's a certificate of authenticity in this one, so it doesn't go to that. But let me just go ahead and show you what this is. This is an official hockey puck that has been hand signed by Matt Doherty who plays Les Averman in the Mighty Ducks movie franchise. I love the Mighty Ducks. The Mighty Ducks was one of my favorite movies as a kid. I love Mighty Ducks 2. Uh, Mighty Ducks 3 I think got a little bit eh. But I loved the Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks are an awesome 90's example. So, and it is signed right there. Don't know if you can see it. Um, but it is a legit hockey puck. It's heavy. It's not a plastic hollow piece of crap. It's a legit hockey puck, which, I mean, they, they go legit. They, they go bigger, but go home on their items. Um, I'm missing something. I am missing the iconic Bambox pin, which saddens me. I actually like them. So, maybe they just didn't do a pin this month. That could be it. That's... Because I've never seen them do so little items. They got one, two, three, four. Normally it's five with the pin, or six. So, I am unsure why I didn't get a pin. Because there is pins. See here, there is the Super Soaker, looks like high top Velcro um, shoes, and then Furby. Um, let me see if that's what they're calling it. No, it's just giving you a rundown of these are limited, these are not limited. But there are the pins. I really like the Super Soaker, I wanted the Super Soaker. I take the high tops, but the Super Soaker is what I really would have enjoyed. Might have to give their uh, their help desk or whatever you want to call it a little little message saying, "Hey, I only got four items in my box. Uh, I wonder if they'll, they'll help me out." So one of the biggest, if not biggest, collections of the 1990s was the Beanie Babies. These little animals that were everywhere. They became a craze. We wouldn't be collectors' box if we didn't pay homage to these. And it wouldn't be right to use anything current. So we tracked down collectors all over the country to find Beanie Babies with 90's tags on them. Look for some rares to show up in certain boxes uh, valued at $50 or more. So there are some rares. Looks like uh, they got a picture of um, the teddy bear, shark, monkey, and a chicken. Um, unfortunately I did not get any of those. I got a little chick. So I'm assuming that that's a common. It's not one of the rare ones. I'm assuming they're picturing the rare ones right here. Um, so, um, that's probably the one item in the box that I'm disappointed with. I'm just, that doesn't hit for me. Um, official size hockey puck signed by Matt Doherty. Uh, could have got it signed in gold or could have got it signed in silver. I got the silver, which... I'm assuming is what the, the normal one is, and the gold is the the more rare one. Um, yeah, so there's a hockey puck. That's probably my oh is the hockey puck or the spoon my favorite? The spoon is my favorite comically. Like that was really funny. I really enjoyed that episode of. Um, Seinfeld, but I'm gonna have to say my big winner is the hockey puck. I love this hockey puck. I have great memories of watching Mighty Ducks as a kid, so the hockey puck is my winner. Now, everybody's gonna get a celebrity fight match 11 by 17 poster. Um, I got a cool one, but I think I would have preferred the Agent Smith and Neo one, and that is from The Matrix. That one is cool. I like that one. Um, and then there's also, I don't know who that is in the back. 
Um, is that from Saved by the Bell? Looks like, what is his name, like Mario Lopez or, or I don't know, it, it's something like that. It's I don't recognize the one in the back as much, but the two front ones I do. I'm glad I got one of the two front ones and not the one in the back though, so that's a win for me. And then the final item in the magazine is the spoon. No soup for you. None. You're pushing your luck, little man. Ha! <laughs> Alright, well that is the box. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to have to call them about uh, my pen and see what happened. Uh, next month the theme is Indestructible. I am curious on where they're going to go with that. I don't really know anything that actually is Indestructible. Um, I wonder if... Uh, very obscure. Very obscure. So I, I doubt they'll even think of this movie as a potential for this one. But Unbreakable? with Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson about uh, the opposites. Um, he, you know, can't die, can't break any bones, can't do anything, but his weakness is water. And then there was Samuel L. Jackson who played the villain who um, twisted wrong and would break something. Like, he was very breakable. Uh, and the only place that he really fell at home was water because you couldn't get, like, really all that injured in water. So... Yeah, I'm curious where they're going to go with that one, what is indestructible to them. But I will see you in the next unboxing. I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe um, to help support me. And yeah, see you next time.